Holy! I can't believe it costs a hundred dollars for aluminum. Ha! <laughs> Look at that, it works! If you're new here, we're trying to make a VR omnidirectional treadmill for under a thousand dollars. Now, this video won't make much sense unless you've seen the other two build logs, so go watch them. They'll be in the description. So we have an issue from last video that I need to solve. Basically this bell right here has to travel around and around the treadmill, but this roller also has to propel the belt horizontally at the same time. And you might think that would work fine, but it doesn't because all the weight of the person on the treadmill falls directly onto this main roller. So I'm going to make a quick mock-up of a design that will allow me to take weight off of the main roller. Approximately 10 hours later. So here's a small design I put together. Basically, I've decided to use aluminum extrusions for this entire area because they're strong and decently cheap. Now, each of these parts are connected to their own belts. So they're not connected together except for a joint that's going to go right in here, which will most likely just be a bolt. But basically, this will hopefully create a one-way joint so that whenever anyone stands on the treadmill, it will be a nice, solid surface while still being able to bend upward, allowing it to easily go around the whole treadmill. So let me go show you guys an example of how this one-way joint will work. So here's a simple explanation of how this would work. Basically, each of the aluminum extrusions is tethered to each of the belts separately by their own bolts or screws. Then, when weight is applied to the main belt, it makes both of these aluminum extrusions want to bend outwards. But the problem is, they can't bend outwards because they just hit the other belt, which is actually great, allowing us, whenever weight is applied, the belt becomes nice and rigid. But even though they become rigid in one direction, they can still bend outward in the other direction, allowing them to go over the rollers of the belt. Now that I know how this system using aluminum extrusion is gonna work, and honestly, I'm pretty confident that it should do the job and work fine, I guess I'm gonna go buy some aluminum extrusion and hope that gets here on time. So I went looking for aluminum extrusion and holy I can't believe it costs $100 for just 10 meters of aluminum extrusion. So I bought it. Uh, please subscribe, my bank account hurts. <laughs> so while we wait for the aluminum extrusion to get here, I made a quick design of an end cap for the plywood boards. Basically, this will just allow the belt to slide over the sharp corners instead of just grating against it, which would make for a really inefficient design. Now, after I printed this out, I realized that these end caps were too small, so I decided to print out some discs and just hot glue them on for now. So here that is, all hot glued and assembled to the plywood. Here's the plywood with both of the smooth caps put on each of the ends, and next we just need to put on the belt. Alright, now that the belt has been fully assembled, hopefully we can do a torture test in build log 4 to see how a cardboard belt might last, so keep an eye out for that. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and possibly share the video.